tau overflows just by surrendering life changes why is surrender necessary you have to understand it clearly number 1 man is guided by mind egocentric identities conditionings and so many such things which are which comprise can be summarized as one word ego he this is false identity the real identity is the life force and you cannot be directly connected with the life energy it is like this you are sweating you are dirty so first thing is you have to <clears throat> undress yourself take a shower and when you take a shower then you have recovered your natural fragrance of the body the natural essence of the body and then you can do be ready in the way you like it so egocentric identities the conditionings and these are all part of ignorance that man considers and as his own and preserves it not knowing what it has done just as when you have not taken a shower the order of the body will disturb the other but in this case it disturbs you so first thing is um, the from und undressing to taking a shower you are regaining your natural fragrance natural essence this is the first step the second step is you are guided by the inner so actually this is the beginning or this is the prelude to being connected or connected to the life energy or life force and be the manifestation or your life reflects the fragrance of the inner the life force inner energy so it goes into two steps the in impact of the egocentric identities is so strong that it is very difficult for you to change it on your own so the just as the first step is is the physical nakedness you undress yourself but in this case you have to undress yourself psychologically also you cannot the physical openness is not the only thing as it is in case of taking a shower so you and this is the first step psychologically you will not be ready to open yourself completely in front of the of, of someone or directly you can be connected by it because of the influence of egocentric identities so ultimately it is surrendered to your life energy but it cannot happen directly so it has to happen in an indirect manner through someone who has known who is an embodiment of life energy who is guided by that who has uh, is awakened and then and it is an embodiment of innocence then when you surrender to that surrender your the false egocentric identities to that station or the person then the process begins that is why according to sanatan sanskriti there is a concept of surrendering to the river to the trees to the mountains 
it is in a way it is it works but in the present day context it does not work that way so just by surrendering alone life begins to change process of transformation begins and through surrender surrender to existential energy flowing freely living spontaneously meditation enters each aspect of life and living still you want to know how to make sex act a meditation just by surrendering it becomes so do not think about it let it happen be relaxed do not move ahead this is one of the basic problems with the mind it always moves ahead it is always seeking the result and remember the result is in the future with your focus in future you are never in the act you are always in the future seeking the result that seeking of a result is disturbing everything it damages everything and makes you miserable this you have to understand first later this understanding becomes an essential way of life just be in the act what is the future it is to come on its own you cannot force it to come early therefore you need not worry about it and you are not going to bring it with your worries it is already coming it has already come so you forget about it you just be here now sex can become a deep insight in being here and now that is i think the only act now left into which you can be now and here you cannot be here and now while in your office but you cannot be here and now while you are studying in your college you cannot be here now anywhere in this modern world only in love you can be here now but even then you are not certainly you can be but you are never you are thinking of the result and now many modern books have created many new problems you read a book on how to make love and then you are afraid about whether you are making it rightly or wrongly you read a book on how to how a posture is to be taken or what type of posture is to be used and then you are afraid about whether you are taking the right posture or not psychologists have created new worries in the mind now they say that a husband must remember whether his wife is achieving orgasm or not so he is worried over it and this worry is not going to help in any way it is going to become an hindrance the wife is worried whether she is helping the husband to relax totally or not she must show that she is feeling she must show that she is feeling blissful then everything becomes false both are worried about the result and because of this worry the result never comes forget everything flow in the moment and allow your bodies their natural expression your bodies know well they have their own wisdom your bodies are constitu constituted of sex cells they have a built in program you are not asked at all just leave it to the body and body will move this leaving it to the na nature to gather both together this let go 
will create meditation automatically and if you can feel it in sex then know one thing that whenever you surrender you will feel the same then you can surrender to a master surrender to a master is a love relationship you can surrender to a master and then while you are putting your head at his feet your head becomes empty you will be in meditation then there is even no need of a master then let then go out and surrender to the sky you know how to surrender that is all then you can go and surrender to a tree but it looks foolish because we do not know how to surrender you see a person a villager a primitive man going to the river surrendering himself to the river calling the river the mother the divine mother or surrendering himself to the rising sun calling the rising sun a great god or uh, or going to a tree and putting his head at the roots and surrendering for us it looks superstitious you say what nonsense is he doing what will tree do what will river do what they are not goddesses they what is sun the sun is not god anything becomes god if you can surrender if you are in a let go means let go of your egocentric identities any place anywhere where your egocentric identities and conditioning begin to disappear that act that place becomes a place of worship place a place of adoration so your surrender creates divinity there is nothing divine there is only a surrendering mind which creates divinity surrender to a wife and she becomes divine surrender to a husband and he becomes divine the divine the divinity is revealed expressed through surrender surrender to a stone and there is no stone now that the stone has become a statue a person a life so just know how to surrender and when i say how to surrender i do not mean to know a technique i mean you have a natural possibility of surrendering in love surrender in love and feel it there and then let it spread all over your life life will begin the process of transformation enough for now